That becomes good right there. I just gotta pull this rock back more like that. If I can get it back a little bit more. The price of the eels, of course, everybody knows now, is skyrocketed. And I hope it stays that way, but it's a quality product now. It, the quality went down for a while. Now the quality is back up, and I hope the fishermen and the buyers can keep the quality up, keep the price up. Because it's a very important fishery. You've got 407 fishermen, and, it, and it's, you know, it's a livelihood. One of the problems that we had last year and we're going to have again this year is illegal harvesting from unlicensed people. And in that legislation bill that they just passed, the fine was supposed to went up to like a $2,000 fine for this. But whether the courts enforce it or not is another thing. You know, people think it's easy and everything, and, and you know, there's no work to it, but there's, there's, a, there's some work to it. There's some time into it. There's been a couple of guys here for eight or nine days holding spots, so they've already put in over a week just setting the nets now. So for sure, you know, it, it's, it's a business. But it's a business to help the ones that's in it. Uh, you use rocks to weight the chains down on the bottom and you use a rock for the top and allow some slack rope so as the tide comes up that top has got flotation to it and it floats up and the eels swim into it and it goes down to a, as a funnel into a, what we call a caught end and they get in that caught end and they're trapped. I can't get inside. 